Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable some hidden features that can be found in Windows 11 25262 or the latest build from the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable two different features, one of them being the no sign in or no Microsoft account requirement for the widget section of Windows 11, which is great news, and also a new option in the settings app, which will automatically manage colors for apps. And also this feature, I think it's pretty interesting and could be useful for for people that have displays that support this, of course. Before showing you this, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we're gonna have to download and set our Vive tool yet again because this is what we use to enable these hidden features in Windows 11. Just go ahead and download Vive tool from the article below in the video's description and make sure to download the latest version. That's it. Once downloaded, make sure to open it up with File Explorer and then click on Extract. All. Here, click on Browse and make sure to extract this into the System32 location in this PC, Local Disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to Locate System32. Select it, click on Select Folder, then click on Extract. In my case, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination. Click on continue a few times, and that's how you set up Vive tool on your computer. As easy as that. After you set up Vive tool, you're going to have to open up the search box, type in here CMD, right click on CMD, and then click on run as administrator. In CMD, we're going to have to paste three commands. One command will be for the color feature, and two different commands will be for the no sign in or no Microsoft account required for the widget section. These commands that I'm going to show you in this video will be also in the article below in the video description. And make sure to check out Phantom Motion three on Twitter because he discovered these IDs and these commands and he provides a lot of other interesting information about Windows 11 on his Twitter. So go ahead and follow him. First command that I'm going to run is Vive tool slash enable slash AD 41740192 and I press enter and I should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. This is the command for the automatically managed colors for apps in the settings app. And also I have the two other commands. As I've said, all these commands will be in the article below in the video description. Vive tool slash enable slash ID 4156 and ID 4156 Again, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration for both of these commands and then you can exit out from the CMD. It is recommended to restart your computer for the changes to take effect and after the restart, you should come back into the operating system and see the new features. First of all, let's check out the new feature from the settings app. I'm just going to open up the settings app and then I'm going to go into display, scroll down and then advanced display. Here, you're going to have this new option automatically manage color for apps auto color management makes sure your apps and other content have accurate colors on this display this may use more power so if you're using a laptop you should note that this may use more power you can enable it of course once enabled of course you're going to be able to notice certain improvements in some apps because they will automatically manage your colors and if you want to see more info about that you can click on this link more about auto color management i think this is a pretty cool little feature and then again you're going to notice that you no longer need a microsoft account for you to have the widgets panel. If I were to sign out from here, I would still be able to use the widgets and see the widgets that I'm customizing here in this panel. If you're installing a fresh Windows 11 copy and you go ahead and bypass the Microsoft account requirement, you're going to still be able to use the widgets. And I think this is pretty interesting and a pretty nice change from Microsoft. This is all there is to it in this video. I hope you enjoyed these new features that we can encounter in the build 25262. Don't forget that the download link and also the commands used in this video will be in the article below in the video's description. Of course, if you enjoyed the video and if it was helpful, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.